You are looking to make the move to the Austin area, but you're not really sure where to live. Should I go north? Should I go south, east, west? On today's video, I'm going to give you the top six suburbs that you should definitely consider when moving down to the Austin area. Now, this list is talking about more of the up and coming suburbs, not necessarily talking about the more established ones, even though I will be mentioning one of them. And I'm going to give you a variety of price ranges. We're going to start out with Kyle, Texas. Where is Kyle located? We're about 20 miles south of downtown Austin and if you have seen my channel lately I've been talking about the Kyle Buda area a lot because I believe that this is a great opportunity especially if you're a first-time home buyer if if you're watching this and you're a first-time home buyer definitely consider the suburb because the prices are great they're very affordable and you're only within 20 miles from downtown Austin to give you an example the median home price in Kyle is $350,000. However, if you watch this video that I just posted, you can definitely find homes under $300,000 or right around $300,000. So I think this is a great opportunity because a lot of development is coming to the Kyle, Texas area, Kyle Buta, Texas area. For example, they're building a brand new movie studio just 15 minutes south of Kyle uh, in San Marcos. So that is going to bring a lot more development to the area, more jobs, more things to do. Also, the city of Kyle is, is developing this new project called the Vibe, where their whole, the whole premise is that they're trying to connect the neighborhoods to commercial spaces. And the trail, the paved trail is going to be about 80 mile paved trail all around the city. That is also going to make the city a lot more attractive. Now, what is Kyle like? Kyle for a long time, except for maybe the last five to eight years, for the most part is pretty rural or it was pretty rural. You can see it if you drive around Kyle, you can still see, you know, small farms or a lot more land that you can see in Austin. However, there's a ton of new housing development coming to the area and it's making Kyle more like a suburb. Also, commercial spaces come into the Kyle. They just brought a brand new Costco, um, more restaurants, fast food restaurants, your big box retailer, so you don't necessarily have to go into Austin to find everything that you need here in Kyle, Texas. They also have a little quaint downtown, pretty cute downtown, where they, they, they actually call Kyle the Texas Pie Capital of Texas, but you know, it has a lot of culture as well in, in that aspect. But for the most part, Cal was still kind of is a small town, but it is growing a lot. And then you have I-35 that's cutting right through the middle of Kyle, which that also gives access to a lot of people coming in and out. So Kyle is definitely a suburb to consider when it comes to moving down here, especially if you're a first time home buyer. Now, number two, let's go to Hutto, Texas. So we're gonna go 30 miles northeast of downtown Austin. And this is one of my favorite suburbs, up and coming suburbs, especially. Number one, and especially if you're more in the investor mindset, and obviously everybody that buys a home, uh, this is probably the biggest investment of your life. But let's say you're looking for an investment property and we also help a lot of investors. This could potentially be a great town to consider. Why? Because 10 to 12 minutes east of Hutto, you have a $17 billion investment by Samsung. The, the new chip plant where they're making all the microchips is being built there. Also, Tesla just bought warehouse space in Hutto, Texas. You have easy access to Round Rock, Texas, which is one of, if not the most established suburb in the entire area. So Hutto is definitely a great opportunity if you ask me prices. The median home price is right around Kyle, Texas, right around 340, 350,000. You can definitely find homes around the 320,000 in some of the suburbs, but this is definitely something to consider. The school districts, according to niche.com, is uh, rated at a B to a B plus ranking. Again, make sure that you do your own due diligence. Another big attraction to Hutto, especially if you're living close to the downtown area, they have a co-op 
district where they have some restaurants, they have some outdoor spaces for you and the family and the kids, and then some shops around. Also, the downtown is really cool. It's just one street, but it is really, really quaint. They have some restaurants and some shops as well. It also has some of the older culture that, that we have here in Texas as well. And then also you have to mention the Huddo Hippo, which is the mascot for the high school in town, but also the entire city has adopted it as well. What is Huddo like? My sister actually lives in Huddo and she loves it, very family oriented. Like I said, a solid school district that it's up and coming as well. Also, what type of houses do you find here? Like I mentioned before, you can find a first time home buyer here. I've actually helped five families find homes in Huddo and they've all ranged as low as 324,000 and then all the way up to $450,000. Uh, if you're looking for more space, one acre lots, quarter of an acre, half acre lots, you can definitely find that here as well. Some of the neighborhoods will have that as well. So you have a combination of everything. And then, like I mentioned before, you have easy access to Round Rock, Texas. So Huddle, again, one of my favorite suburbs, up and coming suburbs because of one, affordability, access to Round Rock and Austin, and if you're not looking for kind of the busy, the hustle and bustle, this is definitely more of a quieter town to consider. All right, number three, we're gonna go with Round Rock, Texas. And this is probably the most established suburb in the entire list. And it is the most established suburb in the entire Austin, Texas area. In fact, when you talk about Austin MSA, you also include Round Rock in there. There is definitely everything that you need is in Round Rock. You don't have to go into Austin if you don't want to. Uh, you have a nice established downtown. You have a triple A baseball team in town. And then you have the largest, and I'm pretty sure that this is right, and I'll have to double check, but the largest indoor water park is in Round Rock, Texas, the Kalahari Resort, which which is a great attraction for you and the family and for you and the kids to spend the summers, the hot summers that we experience here in Texas, to take them out there for the day, for the weekend, and they have a blast out there. My niece and nephew go out there all the time and they have a blast. They also have a, they also have a convention center, they have a hotel. So if you have family coming in from out of town, they can definitely stay there and have a great time. And I believe that they have a steakhouse. I haven't been there yet, but I've heard that the steakhouse is actually pretty good as well. And then right across the street, you have the Dell Diamond, which is our triple A baseball team. And this is by far my favorite activity for, not just for me, because I'm a baseball fan, but also for the kids. They, all summer long, or whenever the season starts, late spring to late summer, they have activities every single home game for you and the family. They have fireworks, I believe, every Friday, if I'm not mistaken. They have theme nights, like Star Wars night, or, uh, you name it, like all kinds of theme nights for you and the kids. Um, it is more of an attraction for families and it's also not a huge stadium and it usually doesn't get packed either. So it's a great, great attraction in the summer for you and the family. And then of course in Round Rock, you have everything that you need. You have an Ikea in Round Rock. You have two major hospitals in Round Rock as well. And then you have easy access to the domain, which if you don't know what the domain is, they call it the second downtown of the Austin area. So you don't even have to go into downtown Austin if you don't want to, because I get a lot of uh, people from YouTube that call me and say, hey man, we have no interest in going into Austin any, at any point, maybe once a month or maybe once a quarter. We just want to be in an area where we, where we have access to everything, and but we don't have to go into Austin. So this is one of them. Uh, it feels like a city because it's a well-established city. Ron Rock came to be thanks to Dell, Dell Computers. The headquarters to Dell is actually in Round Rock and it has been there for the last 30 years. So a lot of tech companies have moved to the area as well. Apple is really close. I don't believe that it's in Round Rock itself, but it's it's on Parmer Lane, the new Apple campus. So it's really close to Round Rock as well. Also top school district around the area, which is very important, especially if you have a young family. So a great attraction, the most established city or suburb in the Austin area. And before I forget, before we go to the next city, the median home price in the Round Rock area is around $450,000 but you can definitely find a three bedroom, two bath, let's say anywhere from 1500 square feet to 2000 square feet 
under $400,000. But in order to find this out, you have to reach out, give me a call, send me a text or an email, and we can help you find these deals under $400,000. Brand new homes too. If Actually, if you haven't seen my video yet, make sure to check this one out where I talk about a brand new community close to three HEVs, top school districts, close to a hospital, and with a tax rate of 1.75%. So let's go on to the next city. All right, number four, we're making our way across town, northwest of downtown Austin, approximately 30 miles northwest of downtown Austin, and it is Leander, Texas, one of the most popular suburbs. I get a lot of questions about the suburb. Top-ranked school districts, a lot of new exciting developments coming to the area. Just to name it two, we have North Line that is already being built. And if you haven't watched one of my latest video where I talk about this and I actually show some of the progress that's coming to the area, make sure to check that out. And then also we have Leander Springs that I believe that it finally got the green light that they're actually gonna build uh, this exciting new development where they're gonna have a crystal lagoon and a boardwalk and hotels and restaurants and you name it. And this is definitely gonna make Leander even more attractive. But Leander was the, I believe that it got voted the fastest growing suburb in 2018 and 2019. And man, if you've been in Austin for a while, I remember back in the day, let's say in the early 2000s where Leander, there was nothing out there. It was definitely a very small town. And when you talked about, oh yeah, I live in Leander, it was so far away from the city or, or let's say from even just Round Rock. So it's amazing to see how far it's come and how attractive it has become for other people. That's why I think, you know, I just mentioned Hutto. That's why I think people should definitely consider places like Hutto before it becomes too popular, right? And the prices go up because the median home price in Leander is actually around $489,000 when you compare it to Hutto where it's around the mid 300s. Now, one of the reasons why Leander is so attracted to a lot of people is the top ranked school districts, just like Round Rock. A lot of people seek out this area. Also, uh, when it comes to the geography or the topography, whatever, whatever you want to call it, it starts to get a little bit hilly and people love that. There's also quite a bit of vegetation on that area, even though we're, we're in Texas and right, most of the state is a, is a desert, but we do get some trees out there. And you'd be surprised, I even, which I wouldn't expect this, uh, I had some buyers that found me here on YouTube that were coming from Denver and they were surprised how many trees were out here. And I was like, wait a minute, but shouldn't you have a lot of trees in Denver? And obviously, as we all know, Denver is not close to the mountain, but they're like, no, we don't have a ton of trees in the Denver city, the Denver Metro. So it's nice to see that here. So what I meant to say with that is that you definitely starting to see some of the hill country, some of the amenities in Leander. Well, I just mentioned those two major developments come into the area. You also have for major shopping that, that you may need, you have the white stone shopping center where you, you know, you have your Target, your Whole Foods, all the big, big Big box retailers you also have semi easy access to Lake Travis Lake Travis is one of the major lakes around the area and you can access it from Leander so on a weekend for the fan, for you and the kids that is definitely a big attraction uh, or if you have a boat and you like to go fishing or you just like to go on the boat this is definitely something to consider as well now some of the homes in here, there is a lot of master plan communities where you have your amenity center with a pool and things like that. Very family oriented, like I mentioned before, because of the top ranked school districts. And then also when it comes to housing, you can also find homes on acreage, not huge acreage, but you can definitely find half acre lots, one acre lots, you name it. And the pockets are kind of all over the Leander area. And uh, I actually show some of these in a previous video as well, but that's definitely an option there in Leander as well. And then you also have, which it's kind of on the outskirts of Leander, but you have Treviso neighborhood, which is a upscale luxury neighborhood that I actually made a recent video about it. Make sure to check it out right here where you can find million dollar homes or right under a million dollars as well. Beautiful lots with views of the hill country or you just kind of elevated to where you have views of the, of the neighborhood. Beautiful amenity center with a second one coming up. 
So make sure to check that video as well. Up next, we have Dripping Springs, Texas. This is also one of my favorite suburbs around the area. This is 25 miles southwest of downtown Austin. And right now it's going through a major, major, well, right outside of Dripping Springs, they're building a major expansion of the highway system. So where 71 meets 290, uh, which is, if, you, if you're from this area, it's called the Y which used to get really congested and it still is right now, but they're doing major construction to this area, especially to 290, where they're gonna have an overpass, which is supposed to alleviate uh, some of the traffic going in and out of Dripping Springs. And some people are saying that this is actually gonna cut some of the traffic down, you know, from Dr Dripping Springs to downtown Austin, so we'll see. This also, honestly, I think that depending on how Dripping Springs, the city handles this, this can bring a lot more development to the area because it's gonna be so much easier to get from downtown Austin to Dripping Springs. But when it comes to the median home price of Dripping Springs, Texas, we're talking about $590,000, so the price tag comes up quite a bit but it is beautiful. They also call it the gateway to the hill country because you truly start getting into the hill country. They had, there's a lot of distilleries, wineries in this area, uh, breweries as well, but it definitely feels very spacious. I actually have buyers from YouTube that reached out to the number in the email and they were looking into this area and they liked how spacious it felt. If you want a little bit more space, you can definitely find it here. You're not as congested. You can definitely find homes on acreage here, at least one acre, half acre, and beyond that. You also can find your master plan communities. Three of my favorite master plan communities in this area is Belterra, which is one of the more established one going back to the 90s. And then you have Headwaters, which I actually helped a client find a home there. And then you have Caliterra, which I also help a client find a home there. Very nice master plan communities. If you're looking for that feel, a lot of community, very, very family oriented, a lot of young families in these two communities, especially Headwaters, they have a ton of activities for you and the family. The couple or the, the family that I helped find a home here, they say they love it. Their kids, they have two young daughters and they love it because they have a ton of activities for them. They have a ton of friends. Uh, they actually relocated from the Northeast. And, you know, at first they were hesitant, like, oh, our, our daughters, are they gonna make any friends? And obviously, you know, you know, kids, they make friends at any point, but they love it. They have a ton of activities. They have food truck Fridays. They have events for the kids year round, like for Easter, 4th of July, uh, Labor Day, uh, Christmas, Thanksgiving, you name it. They have activities for the kids. So this is definitely a master plan community to consider. But again, if that is not what you want, Dripping Springs, Texas can also be a destination for people that are looking to retire or they're just looking to slow down a bit or your job has become more uh, working from home, right? This is definitely a destination to consider because believe it or not, you have easy access to Austin. Obviously there's a lot of congestion there and at the, uh, where they're making the expansion, but you're not super far away from Austin. If you don't have to go in all the time, this is the perfect suburb for you. Again, because it's a lot quieter. It is also, I believe it's classified as a dark sky city to where the lights, in the streets and the homes it has to be a certain uh, brightness. So it, it feels a little bit darker so you can actually see the sky, this clear, clear sky here in Texas. So again, Dripping Springs, Texas, median home price, $590,000. If you're looking more of a quieter place, more space, family oriented, and of course, top ranked school districts, this is definitely a suburb to consider. And finally, for our last suburb that you should consider when moving to the Austin, Texas area, we have Georgetown, Texas, just 30 miles straight north of downtown Austin. And this actually got voted the fastest growing suburb in 2023, according to the Census Bureau. Very, very popular suburb around the area. The median home price of Georgetown, Texas is 449,000. And you can definitely find homes here in the $300,000 range, but it is definitely coming up. You can actually find a 55 and above community, a huge community called Sun City, giant community, its own ecosystem. But back to some of what Georgetown is like, again, the median home price is around $449,000. And there is a lot to do in this area. It is growing a lot. The downtown specifically, and I've made a couple of videos about this, about Georgetown and what it has to offer, but the downtown is one of the best downtowns in the area. They have a ton of events 
events for you and the family. Again, for all the major holidays, they always have an event. They also have events for Halloween. Uh, you name it. They have a couple of festivals. The Red Poppy Seed Festival, I believe that's what it's called. They have it here. They have concerts too. Uh, not necessarily downtown, but it, it, um, some of the parks around the area. But it is a beautiful destination to consider. Kind of, sort of similar to Dripping Springs, except, well, more the west side of Georgetown can be similar to Dripping Springs, where you can find homes on acreage. I had a family as well last year that found me here on YouTube because they reached out to the number in the email and they were looking for acreage. Well, they actually decided to go with another community, but one of the homes in particular that they were looking at, it was sitting on six acres of land, and I think it was priced around 1.5 million, 1.2 million, I believe. Beautiful community. This is more on the west side of Georgetown, Texas. You can also find master plan communities here. I actually made a recent video about it, Wolf Ranch Master Plan Community. Make sure to check out this video right here, where I talk about beautiful community, by the way. The San Gabriel River is cutting through the community. It has a golf course on site, two amenity centers, probably one of the most beautiful communities around the area. That is definitely a destination to check out. Again, uh, school districts on average is about B plus to an A. Uh, depending on the source, again, you have to do your own due diligence and very family oriented, but you also have a combination. So you have a strong retired community coming to the area, but then with the growth of Austin, you also have young families moving to the area. You know, they're looking more for a community feel where their kids can make friends and they can make friends with other families that have kids. So you definitely have a blend of the two where you have retirees and then you also have young families coming to the area as well. Majority of the developments in the neighborhoods are along Highway 29, which runs west and east, but you can definitely find homes in all price ranges, starting in the low to mid 400s and then all the way into the millions. But Georgetown, Texas is definitely a destination to consider. Very green, like I said, San Gabriel River is cutting through it, so you have a lot of activities for you and the kids. And then also, I can't forget about Lake Georgetown, which is actually my favorite lake around the area because it's very quiet. Uh, you don't see a ton of boats in the area. You don't see a ton of people coming to Lake Georgetown. So I really, really like this amenity that Georgetown has. In particular, they have, I think it's a 28 mile trail all around the lake. You can literally walk the entire lake if you wanted to. And me and my family go all the time. We don't walk the whole 28 miles, but we typically go in about, well, about seven miles in, seven miles out. You can actually have lake access throughout the entire lake. There are some spots where you cannot, but for the most part, you can actually have lake access and you can, you know, especially in the heat of summer, you can definitely take a dip and get a little bit of refresh. Also, another good thing about that trail is that there's a lot of coverage. So during the summer when it's really hot, uh, you definitely have some shade when you're walking. So, but a great, great, suburb north of Austin that has a ton of amenities for you and the family and it is growing growing a lot okay guys so I hope you really enjoyed that video talking about the top six suburbs that you should consider when moving to the Austin Texas area my name is Julio Monagas y si hablamos español así que los podemos ayudar if you guys have any questions make sure to reach out to the number in the email or shoot me a call or schedule a zoom that's probably the best way to get a hold of me if you have any more questions about the area make sure to check out the playlist that we'll post after this and we will be talking about all the areas around austin so make sure that you make a educated decision when it comes to moving out here guys until next time adios